What is up, guys? I know it's been a while. Um, just coming at you with a Spider-Man No Way Home, like, preview before I see the movie. My thoughts, my predictions of what's going to happen in the movie. So, no spoilers. Um, <clears throat> to be very honest with you, I have been keeping... I haven't been keeping up, really, with the, the whole marketing I've seen the first and the second trailer, I think. If not, I think I've only seen the first. No, I've seen the second one, right? Because the second one, that shows Doc Ock, I believe. But other than that, been keeping away. Um, haven't seen Twitter. Haven't seen Reddit postings of any sort of spoilers. So I feel good. You know, I watched Jeremy John's video of him reviewing, reviewing it uh, yesterday. Only watched his video. Did he even scroll down for the comment section? Because I'm not not risking that chance. I, I just can't for my sanity. I can't. Um, long story short, about a week ago, me and my friends were able to get some tickets uh, to 840 showing. Um... And we secured a bag. Um, now, if like you look up tickets, it's like sold out a lot of places. Um, but a lot of places do add extra show times the day of. So just be on the lookout for that. You never know. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not a huge, huge fan of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Because the first one, Homecoming was, was fine. Um, I, I wasn't a big fan of No or uh, Far From Home, just because maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm living a, a, a butterfly effect. But in Homecoming, he's all over uh, the Vulture's daughter as his crush. And then in Homecoming, he only sees Mary Jane or MJ as a acquaintance. And it's like, hey, what's up? Not much. Cool, cool. And then, like in the beginning of Far From Home, and it'd be fine if we saw some of this in the Avengers movies, but we really don't. In the Avengers movies, he's on a field trip, it looks like, and his spider sense is tingling, and you see his, his hairs go up on his uh, arm, and then he joins the Avengers to fight Thanos and then gets evaporated. Um... So there's no MJ or Ned in there, really. But in Far From Home, first 10, 15 minutes, oh, I really love MJ. I loved her. Or I've had a crush on her for you know a long time now. And it's like, where is this coming from? I, I, I didn't I didn't like that kind of new age. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. My predictions. Um, obviously, we're getting different villains from... Uh, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man uh, universe and Tobey Maguire, as shown in the trailers with uh, Doc Ock, um, Green Goblin, and Sandman, Lizard, and I think Electro. So I'm very curious on what they're going to do uh, and how Tom Holland Spider-Man is going to interact with them and the other people in Tom Holland's universe. Now, I know it's kind of been like a little meme or like a hush hush. Maybe it'll happen. And I haven't been, I haven't confirmed this because I haven't seen any of the people I follow on YouTube uh, talk about the spoiler, uh, talk about this movie. But physical, like, my logical sense of thinking would be like, hey, if you really want to make this movie memorable, and like a big, you know, get some real good money out of everybody besides just the MCU people that are still like MCU right now. Get Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Like, obviously, they don't, they don't have to be like in the whole ass movie. But like, if they can be introduced in the second part or like closer to the end of the second act, and like, they all have to come together and fight the big bad three or four villains. At the end, I'm here for that. I will pay the 10, 15 bucks just for that last 30, 40 minutes alone. I don't care. Just do it. 
But of course, the marketing and the trailers, they don't show Toby and Andrew. Because that, if they did that, it would be too much of a, oh, okay, here you go, <clears throat> type thing. Um, But I really hope I go and I, I wouldn't, like, destroy the movie if I, uh, like, I don't know, 10 hours from now when I get back from seeing it, if they're not there. I'd be disappointed, but if the movie's good, the movie's good. So, I'm hoping I see them. And, uh, I feel like, obviously, all the villains are going to plan something, or they're all going to be entwined to some type of villainous plot that fucks up Tom Holland and maybe the other Spider-Man, hopefully. Um... You know, you gotta have a, the first part of the movie is gonna be Tom Holland dealing with everybody knowing that he's Spider Man, and now that he's dating his classmate, and everybody knows that she's dating Peter Parker or Spider Man, so now she has the paparazzi and you know, haters on her. Like, how does it feel to be dating a killer or something like that? Um, so I think that's how the first part is gonna go, like the first 20 minutes. And then, you know, Peter's going to be like, oh, yeah, it's a weird wizard guy that helped us fight Thanos so he could do cool wizard stuff. I'm pretty sure he could, you know, erase everybody's mind. It wouldn't be that, you know, much power m much power for him. So that's where we go and meet Doctor Strange again. And then Peter being Peter messes him up and then fucks up reality and time. So there's that. And then I think um, after that, you know, you got him seeing Doc Ock, seeing Green Goblin, people that he's never seen before. Um, and hopefully, after those little encounters, we can get, you know, Toby McGuire coming back and Andrew Garfield. But hey, you're Spider Man. No, I'm Spider Man. No, I'm Spider Man. It's like, that'd be cool. I feel like that'd be a cool bit. Um, I do think there's going to be deaths. It has to be deaths around this movie because you're dealing with multiple universes and multiverses. So at the end of the day, at the end of the movie, I feel like they're going to be able to make it so that either people go back to knowing who Spider-Man is or like a half truth to that. Like maybe they know, oh, Spider-Man was charged or is charged with killing Mysterio but they don't know it's Peter Parker and then um, it comes out that Mysterio uh, they, people get evidence and it's brought to the public that Mysterio framed Spider-Man for killing him he was just a you know villain and he killed himself at the end something like that um, that way people know Spider-Man didn't you know it's not a bad guy and they don't know Peter's identity because that's the main like thing that keeps Peter from like you know not saying hey I'm Peter Parker I'm Spider-Man like they, he doesn't want people to know that so they're going to fix all the multiverses which means I don't know if that if the other multi multiverses will get like destroyed kind of like a similar thing with uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths like in the Arrowverse Granted, I haven't seen that, to be honest. I just heard about what happens in it. So I stopped watching The Flash and stuff, like, after the beginning of Season 5. Um, so, if they do that, hopefully they don't. Because I would like to still be like, oh, yeah, there's an alternate universe where, you know, Tobey Maguire is in love with MJ and uh, he's fighting, uh, you know, well, Top Goblin's dead because Spider-Man 3, but other villains, you know, um... I do, think, I do think there's going to be a, a major death, though, for Tom Holland's character. Uh, like, one of his close uh, relatives or characters in his universe. Perhaps Aunt May. I don't want it to be, you know, her. I don't think they would kill MJ off. Like, that's really too soon. I would mess it up even more. Because, I, like I said, I think in the second movie it was very, like... Uh fast paced of oh and um Peter likes MJ now. Um so I don't know. I don't know who they could kill off that would be like very important to Peter like 
Tony's already dead. Um, I don't know, but I, I, I have a suspicion, I have a hunch that somebody is gonna die. Um, hopefully not brutally, but like, you know, a mishap, couldn't catch him in time, kind of like similar to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I feel like somebody's gonna meet their maker. But yeah, I, and I also feel like, unfortunately, Marvel, ever since what? I can't, I don't, I want to say Captain America Winter Soldier, but like, some of those movies in that time frame, that phase two, I think, they've like, oh, people like comedy. And for a while they did good on it, but now it's like, besides like Endgame and stuff like that, it feels like they put too much comedy on certain stuff. Um, so I feel like we're going to get a little bit of too much comedy when it comes to certain scenes in the movie, hopefully it doesn't kill it. But, you know, that's my... I know it's all over the place, but that's those are my predictions. I'm really excited to see William Dafoe back again. And uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but him as Doc Ock. Great to see him again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. Um, definitely I'll let you guys end with a review um, when I'm back from seeing the show. Um, and yeah, uh, as far as other an anticipated movies, um, the new Matrix mo movie looks pretty good. Although I have a slight confession to make, I have never seen a Matrix before, at all. Um, I know there's like three or four or five different films. I heard like the first two or three are good and the rest kind of suck. So I might have to do some homework and watch the original Matrixes uh, before watching the new one. But yeah, those are my predictions, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next uh, video where I discuss the review, non-spoiler and spoiler talk, and see if some of my predictions were right. Alright, peace out guys. Hopefully you guys can see the movie this weekend, and until then, see you next time. Peace out.